Upon welcoming a young kitten into her home, Alana Hadley was faced with incessant meowing. Determined to assist her new companion, she diligently explored various avenues to understand and alleviate the feline's distress. Eventually, she unearthed the sorrowful cause behind its plaintive cries. In the midst of a harsh winter, young Arius, a four-month-old kitten, found itself stranded in the unforgiving outdoors. The relentless weather promised to grow colder and more perilous with each passing day. Fortunately, vigilant rescuers remained on the lookout for stray animals during that icy December, and luck was on Arius' side. Just as the ground began to frost and freeze overnight, Arius and his companions were found huddling together for warmth. He was found in Wisconsin with some other cats and placed in a shelter by the end of the year. Arias boasted a stunning ginger hue, and in a matter of weeks, he managed to achieve a commendable weight gain, resulting in a velvety and lustrous coat akin to the other rescued animals. With an abundance of love and attentive care, Arias blossomed into a contented and thriving feline, except for one minor hitch that remained. Animal shelters have a limited window as to how long they can house and care for these creatures. Arias would be safe there through the winter, but past that, he would need a foster or forever home. The shelter, the Wisconsin Humane Society, was very conscientious and aware of the timeline. Their animals were stuck in, thanks to word of mouth and social media sharing. They were actually able to quickly find the entire group of cats, foster homes. Some of these even turned into forever homes, and such was the case for Aureus. A kind woman called Alana took the ginger kitten in on the day they met. When Alana visited the shelter, Ares gravitated towards her right away. The staff immediately explained to her how exceptional that was. Before Alana, Ares refused to leave the sight of his fellow strays to approach a human being, but there was something easy and natural between these two. It was as if they were old friends that already knew each other intimately. At a glance, Atlanta knew this cat was in need of a safe and loving home, and she had the knowledge and resources to help. So she took him in. Alana was already the proud owner of the adorable small dog, Cisco. She knew how to care for animals and had had the experience with fostering in the past. She was planning to settle down and build a family, and so she had bought a big house where the animals could roam freely. Her home was both pet and family friendly. It was the perfect setup, but Alana didn't know how hard it would be for Urias to transition to its new life with her. The poor thing, how old, all the way home. It was a tiresome experience to try to pack it up and get it ready for the car trip. He was resistant to leaving the shelter and needed lots of encouragement. It took the greater part of an hour and half a bag of treats to get arrows into the carrier and in the car. Alana found it further distressing when the cat got louder as she put the carrier in her vehicle. He was meowing and crying like there was no tomorrow. Perhaps he did not like being in cars, as is the case for many animals. Alana went back to the shelter to get some assistance from an employee. She was concerned that the cat was hurt in some way and wanted to make sure that she was doing what was best for him. The shelter employee gave errors a once-over and concluded that he was perfectly healthy, if not a bit emotionally distressed. This was not an anomaly. A big change like switching homes can be hugely disruptive for animals, so Urias was fine. He just seemed to be frightened. Alana took some time to just sit in her vehicle with Ares, hoping to have him acclimate to her smell and start to understand that he was safe. While his meowing would quiet at times, he never completely stopped. Eventually, Atlanta had to leave. She waited until she was tired and his meow was a quiet whine. Then she carefully drove him home and brought him inside. When they arrived home, Smee out and cried the rest of the day, only stopping when he finally fell asleep. The house had a spare room that would eventually become Alana's nursery. In the meantime, though, it made for a perfect space for Arius decked out with water, toys, and treats. Alana let the ginger cat set up camp in the spare room. A space of his own could be hugely beneficial in helping him to relax and feel comfortable. At least that was what Atlanta intended, but poor Urias did not like being left alone any more than he liked being in moving cars. If she left it alone in there, he would begin to yawl and scratch at the walls. Alana tried many different tactics to aid in suits, understanding that he did not want to be alone. 
she tried to give him lots of love and affection. Alana brought a beanbag chair into the room so she could be near the floor, that way Arius could roam around and approach her of his own volition. In time, the small cat tentatively cuddled with Alina as she was sitting in the soft chair. She held him close and for a few minutes its crying stopped, only to resume shortly after Alana could not solve this riddle. The poor creature was crying constantly. As the days went on, this became more and more unsustainable. Alana would only get a break when the poor thing slept. However, she had to attend to her work and other responsibilities, so she went and purchased a bunch of comfort items for the kitten. She got stuffed animals, blankets, and sensory-friendly toys. She also tried separating him from Cisco to see if the dog was contributing to the cat's stress, but that seemed to make the crying even worse. So, Atlanta put Cisco in the spare room with Arias, but then he would hide in the corner sobbing. Atlanta was running out of options. The cat's despair ran so deep, nothing helped. She needed to find an answer to soothes and quickly at a loss. Atlanta made a lost ditch effort to learn how to help Arias. She went back and consulted the professionals. Alana called the shelter to explain the situation. She had never encountered an issue like this before. She was wondering if this behavior was normal or not, and if there was something seriously wrong with Arias. Worst of all, what if the poor cat was in pain this whole time? Alana knew she could not stand that. Luckily, over the phone, she was able to connect with the senior staff member who had taken care of Arias when he had first come to the shelter. The employee was not on shift the day she had taken him home and had returned to work to fight and gone. He had not stopped thinking about errors and was glad to hear an update from Alana, but then she explained what was going on. She told the employee about the incessant mewing and her growing concerns about the state of the cat. She was going to ask about returning the poor thing or how to go about getting professional help, but the employee knew right away what was wrong with errors. Alana was searching for answers, but she was blown away when she learned the sad truth behind Aria's peculiar behavior. The shelter employee explained a piece of key information had been missing about Arius, you see. He was not actually alone in the world. He had a twin sister, Aphrodite, who was with the group of cats Eris had been found with. The two had been virtually inseparable from the moment they had entered the shelter. Just days before Alana's shelter visit, Another family had selected Aphrodite, resulting in her being placed on hold and kept in a separate cage to avoid confusion. Fortunately, the adoption fell through, and upon hearing how despondent Aphrodite was, Alana wasted no time. She swiftly embarked on a journey to bring Aphrodite home, reuniting her with her long-lost twin, Aureus. The two siblings now reside in their forever home, alongside the delightful Atlanta and Cisco. The lovable dog who now has not just one, but two feline companions to shower with affection and cuddles. Happiness and tranquility permeat their lives. With a happy ending, everything fell into place flawlessly. If you were in Alana's shoes, what course of action would you have taken? Additionally, what do you believe was the underlying cause behind Arius' incessant cries? Share your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. Thank you.